I would like you to imagine that a star is being held in a shoebox. If you're standing in that shoebox, the light is bright, the energy is powerful, and everyone can feel its effects. I like to think of that star as a young woman of color who, in, who has amazing ideas, is creative, courageous, and deeply cares about making the world a better place but is often limited by external forces. When we look at that star in the scope of the galaxy, it is one of few stars with that radiance and power. But what does this look like in the real world? It looks like that one woman of color, full of energy and bright ideas, sitting in a room with 20 white men. Familiar territory, especially for a woman of color in STEM fields. It's not that her light is any dimmer, but that she doesn't have as many stars just like herself to enhance that bright light and move into the spaces that to create the change that needs to happen in the world. And what is this change? The change is a more intentional action is more intentional actions toward creating a culture of sustainability. That is sustainable food sourcing, manufacturing, transportation, building, and policy. To tackle this, I strongly believe that women of color are our most powerful agents in creating the shift for two main reasons. The first, women of color are already powerful shifters in culture. Women of color have historically and successfully been the game changers in music, fashion, politics, and my personal favorite, science. Let's take for example the three hidden figures, Katherine Jones, Mary Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn. They were NASA's human computers behind the scenes making the calculations possible for the 1969 moon landing. With their intelligence and skills, we were able to have the first person on the moon, a major milestone in space history and development. I mention that example to not only highlight the capability of women of color, but the fact that they're not always given the opportunity to present their skills, and that for a long time, their lights were hidden. In the workplace or society in general, this is still occurring. In fact, women of color are less likely to receive the support they need to advance in the workplace, and it's ultimately led them to representing less than 2% of executive positions. Now, to make this big cultural shift, we need these women in the big decision-making roles. This means seeing more women of color as CEOs, as presidents, as prime ministers, and as leaders in our community. Now, the second main reason, women of color are already, they already deeply care about the environment because it affects them the most. Whether you're in a big city on the coast or a landlocked desert, minority groups are disproportionately affected by the impacts of climate change. This means that when intense hurricanes and tsunamis cause intensive flooding, women take the responsibility of ensuring that their family is safe. Or in rural farmland where extremely high temperatures cause drought, women have to travel further and further to source water for cleaning and cooking. Specifically in developing countries, women especially endure the brunt of the environmental challenges like having lower survival rates during natural disasters in comparison to men, being more exposed to pollution when sourcing food for their family, and having higher poverty levels because they're limited in getting higher paid work. It is the reality that they face every day. So naturally, caring for the environment and wanting a more sustainable society is priority. It makes these women the automatic choice in leading the shift in our culture. Women of color are already powerful agents of change. In spite of facing limited access to resources and less opportunities to advance, women of color are the emerging stars 
of green architects and engineers, as sustainable hair care chemists, as environmentally conscious content creators, and as planet-friendly policy makers. Individually, they have shown in their areas of expertise, but if we want to propel this shift to a more sustainable future, we need to ensure that these women are given more opportunity to enhance that collective life.